Welcome back everyone, Tina here. And in today's video, I'm very excited to share with you that there's a new onboarding flow for WhatsApp. So in case you didn't know yet, you can send WhatsApp messages via the CRM in bulk as well as individually. But to do that, you obviously want to be subscribed to the WhatsApp subscription and have a phone number in place. So we're very excited to share with you that you can connect your WhatsApp business account to the CRM and use the phone number which you've purchased under settings phone numbers, either with Lead Connector or Twilio. So in case you're sending out SMS as well as WhatsApp messages, it will be the same number, which is really cool because that way your clients or prospects will recognize the number. So the entire setup process has been simplified for a faster setup. Let me show you how it looks like. All right, first you want to click on settings at the bottom left, then on WhatsApp on the left, and here you can see the WhatsApp sign up page. So this client has already subscribed to the WhatsApp subscription and the next step here would be to sign up with Facebook. You would just click the button right here, which would bring you to this page and you would just need to follow the Facebook and Lead Connector setup wizard, okay? You just click here, continue as, then your name will show up and you just have to fill in your personal details, such as the business information, website, profile and the country. After that, you would just click next and you'll be able to choose your WhatsApp business account. Next up, you will need to verify your phone number. So again, I would recommend you use the same phone number that you can find under phone numbers right here. Click on phone numbers on the left and here you will see your phone number. Please make sure it's A2P verified because you will have to receive a verification code from WhatsApp, which I will talk about right now. And here we go. You'll have to verify that phone number. Click on verify phone number either via SMS or phone call. I think SMS is probably easiest, so just click that. Then right here, you can select one of your phone numbers which are coupled to the CRM, or you can add your own. And after that, click verify. Then you will see this field popping up, add the code that has been sent to your CRM. You can find this under conversations and then just simply hit verify. After that, you will see this message popping up from Facebook. You can click finish here and you will hear back from them over the next 24 hours, probably even sooner. Then you'll be able to send 250 messages. So quick note here about the 250 messages, that is the first tier after you have sent those messages and you have behaved and you've complied to the policy of Facebook or Meta, then you'll be able to step up your game to the next hundreds of messages. I think it's 1,000 and 10,000 and 100,000 messages, which you'll be able to send. Also quick side note here, if you would like to add your current WhatsApp number, which you are using on your phone, you can do that in the step where I showed you earlier or add your own phone number. You can do that, but then the phone number will have to be released from Meta. It takes about three minutes to do that. I'm not sure if I like that idea because I like to have several channels where people can contact me and I don't like to have it mixed up but it's totally up to you. Of course, what you just need to know is once you transfer the phone number from your phone into the CRM, it cannot be used in the phone via the WhatsApp business app. It can only be used in the phone via the lead connector app. Okay. So you can only use that number then inside the CRM, inside the CRM on your desktop or inside the CRM through the lead connector app. It cannot be used on both sides. It cannot be used inside the WhatsApp business app on your phone as well as simultaneously through the system. Okay. So it's got to be either or. So either you're going to keep your number on your phone and you keep it as is, or you decouple it, you release the number with Meta, which takes about three minutes, and then you connect it to the WhatsApp business manager inside the CRM, or you just purchase another number under settings and then phone numbers and use that phone number for the verification after it's A2P verified to get that verification code so that you have another WhatsApp channel going. It's always, always, always good to have several WhatsApp channels going. So whatever you do with that now is up to you. I hope you like this new feature and I'll see you in the next video.